What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already done so, please go down to the bottom, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, that'd be awesome. If you couldn't tell from the last video, I obviously need to pick up my garage. So first things first, we're going to clean up this mess. It's always a good idea to have nice clean parts before you put everything all back together. Uh, so that's where parts washer comes in handy. Now we'll get everything laid out and ready for reassembly. So we've already installed the push rods and these are aftermarket. I'll grab a stock one to show you the difference between the two. This is stock and these are the heavy duty push rods. Quite the difference. That's pretty much it for tonight, guys. Uh, I think tomorrow night we're gonna try and get it put back in the tractor, um, line everything back up, and then we can work on getting our fuel system all hooked back up 
Um, I gotta hook the. I got a different governor housing I want to put on this. Um, I want to try something a little different this year. Last year I ran electric solenoid and it kept giving me issues and wasn't reliable. So this year I'm gonna run for. I'm gonna do a manual shutdown. So hopefully it'll be much easier, which it should. Time will tell. I guess. I think tomorrow night we might also put the new gauges in the dash down here. Um, I want to get that situated and put back together. Uh, those are right here. So we'll get those put in tomorrow night, I hope, or even tomorrow during the day. Um, hopefully, we can get the motor back in this thing tomorrow. It'll be awesome. Pretty much got left <clears throat> the fuel system. I got to reinstall the flywheel on the motor, um, put the return line on, put the front timing cover on, put a new crank seal in the timing cover, actually. That's need to do that before we can even think about putting that on. Uh, that's on order, so it should be here Tuesday, I hope. Here. So we've got to get the motor in this thing. Uh, we've got to get everything lined back up clutch-wise. We've got to remount the reservoir for the water injection system. Uh, we have to put the transmission weight box in the bottom of this thing. That is brand new this year. We're going to give that a whirl and see what happens. Um, I haven't figured out what I want to do. I think I want to change the mid-weight bar on this uh, to something a little bit lighter, maybe some aluminum. I haven't decided. So the goal for tomorrow, tomorrow's video is to finish up the motor, and we're going to try and get that thing back in it. And then uh, you guys can really see the big picture and what's under the hood of this thing. So I'm going to keep these videos coming. Um, I'm actually enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would. So if you guys like what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll keep making these videos. I'll keep everybody updated on what's going on. So we're going to be vlogging every poll this year, and which would be awesome and cool. You'll be able to see other tractors and meet some other cool people. So stick around. Plenty more videos to come. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks, guys.